I think it would be cool if you had to play uh, the final stage as this child. That would be kind of fun. Can't read yet. No, a a goo goo ga ga ga. I think I could read a little at that age. I don't know what age is that. It's like somewhere between one and seventeen. That's yeah, in there, yeah. My uh, kindergarten teacher actually sent a note home that my parents should stop reading with me because I was ahead of the class mm -hmm. and it was disruptive. <laughs> Possibly I was being smug, in which case the note should be stop being smug. Yeah. How long have I been out? I, I can see my little self being a braggart. Well, day plus 10 hours, that sounds exactly like our player. Yeah. Which room is Emily in? Emily? Who's that? Is she hurt too? She hasn't come into the hospital. Dun dun dun! You mean Emily, who was last seen with Forrest Kaysen? Kaysen? Kaysen came. He's the one who brought you here. Which reminds me. He asked me to give It's a ransom note. It's a case of the crabs. Yeah, you're more likely to believe. What is it? It's a key and a map. He just asked me to hand it to you after you woke up. Then you should eat something. Then said I was divine. I don't know. <laughs> Do you want to play some chess? You probably need to take a leak after 34 hours. Sorry, I'll have to take a rain check. It's raining. I have an urgent issue I need to attend to. Like and pee. I need to leave the hospital. And pee. Zach, I have a bad feeling about this. Do, do, said that before. Do, do, do. It's a callback to the first scene, I think. Or a callback to Star Wars. Uh, or yeah. Oh, hey. Hey, the hot dog. Yeah. So, so news, uh, that hot dog right there, I recreated yesterday and ate, and it was yummy. <laughs> I've been meaning to for some time. It looks terrible, I'll admit. Yeah, it's... You can't taste the tomato at all. It's it's entirely texture. Interesting. Uh, okay, something breathed there. That was odd. Yeah, I get to drive around during the bad times. Got to sneeze. Told you so. So now we fight Kaysen, and at the end of it, he's like, he told me to, and we find out that Willy was controlling him all along. Oh, there's a hellhound. Word of God says that Willy was controlling him all along. You're, you're absolutely correct. <laughs> um, uh, it, it, it's not stated in the game, but that was his, his plan from the beginning. This is, uh... This is about as unexpected as it is if you're uh, if you come across them randomly at any other time. Right. Did the game just chide him for not uh, focusing on the investigation while he was fighting a <laughs> giant devil dog? Why are we not getting in a car? Why would we even be standing out here fucking with the hellhounds? I think he might not be able to use his radio now either. I mean, since that was George's service. Oh, the cars are invisible. Yeah, for some reason. <laughs> so he, he can get into any of those cars, presumably. I wonder if they stay invisible. I, I, th I guess he's trying to find the car that he likes. Oh, oh here we go. Something up I with the model. I think he probably wants the... Uh, his own car because it's got infinite durability and if he's going to be bumping into uh, dogs the whole way. It's a little weird that he could take Kaysen's car. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I guess all cars are infinite uh, during the segment. Nice. That's helpful. I'm not sure where he's supposed to be go Oh, he's following the map. That's right. My, one of my favorite segments is coming up soon. 
<laughs> we should have just slammed into the fucking hellhound if we've got infinite durability. Yeah. You, you bounce off him like he's a, a concrete wall. <laughs> doesn't, he doesn't shove him aside at all. Much like a moose. <laughs> Main mooses are about that size. Utah mooses seem to be a little smaller. Yes, I'm saying mooses, though I know full well that moose is the plural of moose. Again? <laughs> that trick never works. <laughs> you can see that one. Yeah, it's there's kind of a rendering problem. They just kind of show up now and then. All right. Fucking hell, hell, ridiculous muck. That could be the alternate title of the game. It's so strange that, like, I mean, we've been out and about in the evening, but for some reason they only showed up in this segment. Yeah, uh, I guess during the regular part of the game, they're they're fairly low spawn rate. Uh, he used the radio an awful lot, though, once he got it. Sure. And the flare. <laughs> we, we may not have another pitter-patter for the whole rest of the game. Oh. Uh, joke probably got old somewhere around part three. <laughs> well, you gotta keep going until it goes around and gets funny again. Yeah. That's what I've learned from Saturday Night Live. Sorry, you can't see my facial expression. That was sarcasm, because I don't think Saturday Night Live is funny anymore. Yeah. One day, though, maybe. Maybe. May come around again. I mean, they've got some good impressionists at the moment, but that doesn't mean they're funny as a show. Yeah. I, I still wonder, though, is it that it used to be funny, or is it that I used to be 14, you know? Um, I think it used to be funnier, because uh, I've rewatched old episodes. Uh, they didn't beat a joke to death. Hmm. Uh, right now, the, the, uh, the, the sketches are timed to fill the space between two ad breaks, um, and they used to have... Uh, multiple really short sketches uh, between ad breaks because there were fewer ad breaks, um, and you know they'd have like different portions of the cast in each sketch so they could do them back to back. So even if they had a sketch that wasn't funny, you were through it and onto the next one pretty quick. Hmm. And they didn't do repeat characters nearly as often. Those get lazy fast. Yeah. This is George's house. If you didn't catch it. Yeah. I'm I'm watching the video here, all right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the uh, the lower part of the screen is blocked by the microphone arm, so I, I didn't see if he had uh, said anything. He said, "George's house." <laughs> ah, there you go. Because I was blabbing on, I couldn't actually hear him either. No. Well, okay. There's not really that much to look at, but we're staring our asses off. Strange, Zach. I thought the story was all over. Now, got like three hours it left here. Like there's something else before we get to see the ending. He doesn't even suspect Kaysen yet. Even though Kaysen disappeared with Emily and left him a map to what he presumes is the villain's house. And the note could have just said, go to George's house. I mean, really. Right. Uh, what did oh, we just mannequins. do? There's a, a plastic tarp across the door. Plastic what? Tarp across the doorway. Oh, oh good. Like, tie it to cover a body. Yep. Okay. Yeah, let's go shoot some more mannequins. That's always uh, good for a laugh. <clears throat> I need an electrician. Th that effect is surprisingly difficult to do in real life. The, the kind of flickery bad light bulb thing. Hmm. I think they may sell them uh, LED ones to do that now, uh, but a while <laughs> back I tried to do that for a Halloween party and just couldn't find a way. You just gotta get somebody to stand by the door and go flick, 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 flick. While going bzz, 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 bzz. Somebody told me that, that rubbing uh, uh, 
toothpaste around the, the base of the light bulb would make that happen, but that is really just a fire hazard. Sounds like a... That's music. It's a okay. kind of a march going. It's not much of a secret if there was a tarp across it like all the other doorways. Yeah, and the little red glowing thing in front of it. Well, yes, that is a giveaway. I wish life had those. Yeah. Let's stay away from those strings. I, I just suspect chicanery. <laughs> shenanigans, even. What are shenanigans? Don't say shenanigans. I miss Josie. Oh. Zach, it looks like George. Yeah, we've covered that ground. York. Jesus. Um. He's the, yeah, the, the whole thing about him being the king is just not not clever anymore. It, it, I mean, it wasn't. I don't. What's okay. What's in there? You totally don't have the power to break down those boards. Mm -hmm. What bag? Um, the that bag. Hang it's 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 like the platonic bag. Is that like the friend zone? <laughs> All right, we are fucking one step closer here. It's a corpse. Yeah, that's definitely telegraphed. I mean, the tree growing out of it was pretty much a giveaway. <laughs> Meeting the mother is always a bad experience after killing the son. <laughs> uh, yeah. How often have you done that? Yeah. Apparently quite yes. a bit. No, don't. Uh, why would you do that? You, you know the thing about murder victims and... and corpses under mysterious circumstances is you're not supposed to fucking pull things off them. I know the town doesn't have a medical examiner that's worth much. Oh, what? Well. what? Zach. Good thing he held that in front of a light to cast the shadow of the inverse peace sign. Otherwise he never would have seen it. Um, well, I, I guess... Legalize it, man. Peace mark. <laughs> I guess it's common for the protagonist to be a few steps behind the the viewer, but it's a tree. Dirt? Yeah, I mean we like I I thought it was like uh what do you call it? Like obvious? symbolic symmetry through the entire thing. Like yeah. I thought that was meant to be really obvious. Red. Well it is to us. Red tree. York seems a bit thick sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> FK and the coffee. I mean, you got it very early in the game. Yeah. yeah. The coffee didn't tell you what the initials meant. It didn't say FK is the bad guy. Until you see Kaysen's boss battle. <laughs> it's, it's wild. He's the one I've been thinking of? can't read it. Are we supposed to be able to read it? Come to the theater, something, 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 something. Love and kisses. Oh. Right, here we go, come. Then the final curtain shall rise. Yeah. Final curtain. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. All right. I like that freeze frame there. It's actually, I like it. <laughs> These aren't the droids you're looking for. <laughs> this is the cigarette butt you're looking for. Notice. I noticed. Thank you. All right. Well, this was worth it. Episode five. Was a... a trophy for clearing an episode. Come on, really? Yeah. <laughs> Previously during the investigation. Welcome to Greenvale. <laughs> Agent Francis uh, York. This Orc. music underneath it really doesn't fit. The 
the gun. I think every, everyone everyone should have just called him Francis Emily. the whole time. Mm. With a Which sneer. Is Emily in? How's it going, Isn't Francis? Peace mark. France. Zach, I need you to pray with me. <laughs> what is that? Francis has not gone too far. Francis is a big event. Ah, yes. Big adventure. Yes, yes. Um. Uh, all right, we're supposed to pray with them. What? I refuse. 1956 to when? It's a mystery. This is a playable flashback. Sort of. I don't know whose flashback it is. That's unclear. <laughs> It'd be cool if we just got to play at a crazy townsfolk and it just suddenly turned into, like, postal. Well, sort of. Get to play as the Ranko Killer. <laughs> First one. There. Over, there. Over there. Over there. Oh man, I got the munchies. <laughs> we have to make the axe spark. Nice. Yep. Eh, have killing people. Let's just do this. Yeah, you, you. I think Zach you can Morgan. Complete this without killing anyone, but you know, killing is kind of what you've grown up to do. <laughs> so Zach won. All right. That's weird. Is it supposed to be like Zach and Morgan, or are we gonna find out that Zach is like little brother of his who died or some bullshit? Where, where are you seeing that? It popped up in the bottom left saying that this is the name of the chapter. Oh. Huh. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Even knowing how it turns out. Still sparking on the grass. Good. Yep. Oh. That's the one person we wanted to fuck with. Two. Alright. Oh, is it the bells? Is that what it's counting? Yeah. He's got to get there before 13. Bells are really far apart. Yeah. Where do we have to get before 13? Clock tower, I assume. <laughs> but um, since everything's kind of different, it's hard to say which probably toward the big red arrows. Huh? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but I did not see them. Thank goodness it's tolling so slowly. Uh, consider it kind of dreamy time, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yep, just dragging an axe. <laughs> and I'm strong enough to swing, but for some reason decide to drag. This just, wow. Playing this would annoy the shit out of me, because it's like... Where the fuck are we going, you know? Yeah. Film grain, including little bits of hair in it. Yeah, well, that's how you gotta do it. Um, that's... alright, we seem to be going away from our goal. That seems bad, right? Um, maybe it's kinda maze-like, and that, I guess, I guess he's lost too. Once was lost. Yes, you gotta go through the flames. Metagamer should know that. Alright. I thought maybe he was going back to pick up a card or some shit, but... Oh boy, just dragging that axe around. What are these things in the road? The rocks? Uh, boulders? Yeah. Where'd they come from? Stonehenge? <laughs> I mean, it's not like there's a mountain overlooking the town. Isn't there? Maybe there was. No big ruts in the grass leading to the to the rockfall. It just fell out of the sky like in Carrie. Unconsciously, I was counting the bell tolls. How'd that go for you? Oh my god, this fucking, like... Just below where you can hear it, the amazing grace going on. Here we get to it. 
some like spilled red seed. It's identical boulders. They do not model separate boulders. Well, why bother? Yeah. I know what it is. It's Hellhound. <laughs> yes, that must be it. And like, oh my God, there's a, there's like one girl running right behind us doing that same laugh. Uh huh. I'm sure she's shaking her weapon in the air at, at the same time. Holy shit, dude. Like, okay. I was gonna say, like, if we still have 250 yards to go, we're up to, like, 10. Like, you would have to know exactly where to go to get there on time. I wonder what happens if you don't. I'm assuming it just starts you out at the beginning again. Yeah. You know, probably some sort of little voiceover that's like, I should get to the clock tower before 13 bells ring or some shit. Because it, it really would make no sense to have a mission failed. Just the way they play it when you die. <laughs> uh. Steam just alerted me that someone I haven't seen in five years is playing a game called A Chair in a Room. Okay. I needed to know. I should tell Steam to stop doing that. I keep forgetting. No. Whoa. I like that there was a circle to walk into, but the cutscene takes over before we're anywhere near it. Yeah. The vines are different. Or the vine walls are... Yeah. Okay, if the clock is going backwards, how is it even chiming? Uh... Yeah, we spotted you earlier in the flashback. <laughs> really? Maniacal laughter? Morgan's way up to be a Doctor Who villain. How come only he became a red coat killer? Because everyone else is like in their civilian clothes and uncovered and armed with golf clubs and stuff. I don't know. Whoever that original raincoat killer was was fucking prepared, man. I think it was Harry's father. I don't know. They <laughs> they said or implied somewhere. See, now here are townspeople we recognize. Yeah. Daddy, Why? Don't mommy, put your head there. Daddy, That's mommy, weird. Strange. It's okay. You uh, you guys just be uh, what I like to call cannon fodder. Go ahead and get out in front of me. Oh, Isaiah, do not get your hands there. Yeah, well, should have expected that, I guess. Yep. Don't drop it. No, just pick it up again. Throw it into the fire, that way at least if they get it, it'll be sterilized. Zach, the situation has gone way out of control. You have a gun, York. Fuck it. We need to get inside the theater. Well, assuming they revert when it's not raining back to themselves. Don't care. <laughs> Don't care. This whole fucking town can burn as far as I care. Might all be in York's head. Still don't care. <laughs> <laughs> 